Yeah, just get it right here. Yeah. Right there. Put that in there like that. I got that. I got that. Hey, see this one here? Oh, you see this one here? See, this is a big one. I'm going to tell you where you put him. I got a coupe, man. It's a drop. You put him on every dough, man. See, you don't have him sitting there playing like you did. So you get to put that bit like that. No, you don't have him sitting there playing like you come sitting playing games. See, you got three of them. Three. One for the trunk. Everywhere. One for both doors. Everywhere. See how, baby. See how big he gonna look with that big Cadillac symbol head, though? Just imagine him. Boom. Boom. Ties. Everywhere you looking, when you drop the top, and put the booth on that right there, preparated like the seats with the little holes in it firing, with the big Cadillac symbols, Cadillac everywhere. That's holding, man. Church. Church. You know better, you do better. Oh, if you knew better, you do better. Rich. Okay. Ooh, it is what it is, and it ain't what it's not. Ooh, it just ain't what it's not. See, he's just a regular G. He's just gonna go get his Cadillac. Man, I'm just. So crazy. Ooh. Man. Oh, man. You see this? Thing? You see these little pieces right here, man? A thousand dollars, man. For just these little pieces, a thousand. See, you got to be out for the, you got to be out for the plan. You got to be out for the capital B. You got to be out for the over July. When I come outside, it's a holiday. When you hold. See, when I pull out, it's a holiday on my side. That gets a key out. It's a holiday. Waiting for the boat. I ain't rushing. When I come out, I'm coming to hurt. See, one thing about me, when I come out, you don't go back to the checklist. Man, Q would have been holding if he would have. All he needed is, I swear all he got to do. You see that box we rolled with this morning that you asked me about red when we pulled it out? What was it, red? Digital dance. It takes six, eight weeks. Come on, let's go ahead. It varies the budget on what it costs to do your slab, man. You can do a slab for 5000 you know what I'm saying? You can do a slab for 50,000. It all depends on what you want. You know what I'm saying? If you want to ride vinyl, you know what I'm saying? You already know vinyl is way cheaper than leather. If you want to ride Q powers or quantums instead of kippers, you know what I'm saying? If you want to go get some no name speakers, you feel me? But you're going to be in another class with the slabbers. A boy going to pull up on you and know that you, you know what I'm saying? Your budget ain't right, bro. You, you in the wrong lane. You know what I'm saying? You got to have leather, man. You got to have the known material in the trunk, man. I ain't knocking Cubase hustle. Y'all don't sue me, man, but Cubase ain't from up with Kicker or J Audio. You know what I'm saying? Go with the known ish. You know what I'm saying? That's going to that's gonna make it do what it do. I, I think it, it, was, it was on both sides, but I think mainly because a lot of the rapping was on the southwest side, you know, on the south side, you say, and then, you know, they was kind of more rapping, I guess, like ESG, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? He was a, one of the icons on basically really put the. We put had the to have the ocean of funk with the big barrettes with the swingers on. Yeah. yeah. So just because that name, that, you know, that song he put out basically kind of like brought it out everywhere else, you know what I mean? Because, you know, he's on the south side. So, but it's always been on the both sides, north side, south. Side. Yeah. Everything trade drive has got photos on it, so you know he definitely repping it, man. He repping it to the fullest. Uh, so zero. He, yeah, zero. You know, everybody doing their thing. But from Scarface, Fifth Ward, Boys, Trey, Zero, Pimp C, Bun B. Definitely, uh, you know, everybody pretty much that we've had on. Devin the dude, he done rolled on the old Cadillac swing. It's, it's, it's been a lot too hard. Uh, not hard. Big Mellow, Rest of Beach, you know, right. Right. Trade the truth, king of the streets. King of the nigga, go for the concrete, homie. That's a ass, hold by nature, go for the truth. The official, one of the first official sponsors of this is Texas, and why we doing this shit. You know, we the ones who brought it back out here, man. We the ones who spread it to them. And, and you know, Slang has been around before my time. So, you know, once we once we was able to jump in there and do our thing, you know, we jumped out there and got on. As you can see, not only me riding on mine, my cousin Zero riding on you. Whatever wheel come out, you know, I'm one of the first people to have, no matter what, just to put it out to the street. My old brother Dinky, he's the hair, he's the hair, elbows on everything, man. You know, Pat, he's the hair, 
my view of me, everybody used to roll around with me. You know, do their thing, Corey Blunt, you know, everybody, everybody doing their thing, man. And they called me a uh, zero crooked, most of the dog king of the ghetto, bar Kelly, when I had a white cup in my hand, AKA we slept in hand, you know, for how much that is. You know, for all my time, I'm talking about screwed up, taking for life. Uh, really, man. Man, we been with man, since way back before our new this shit started. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, ain't gonna lie. You know, we out and on through the years, man. We really start riding and just live like this full time, no five, bro. You know what I'm saying? I say about no five, no six, we just start riding since we're up and everything. It used to be where you just get you a car, you get you a slab, and you freak that you see up. And you know, you got you some hoops, and then you got a slab. Kind of went crazy and started putting swingers on everything around this beat. We ain't putting on like on no, no gremlins or no Plymouth lines or no, you know, hatchbacks or nothing like that. But I mean, baby lads, you know what I'm saying? Slang, this is like that, you know, it's caliber, we just hit this shit like that. You know, so it's a, you know, it's an H time thing, man. So it's a culture we've adapted down there, we don't go on swing. Like real talk. You got a slab, you got candy paint, man, you ain't complete. It's like if you got a car, and you ain't got your paint, but you got your swing, you ain't complete. And vice versa, you got your, you know, you got to have everything that you see. We ain't got no Kool-Aid without no sugar, you know what I'm saying? So, you got to complete this shit out here. It's the wheels that the slab is riding on that is probably the most important thing to have on it. That wheel being a 30-spoke wire wheel referred to as swangs by the slab riders. Originally produced from 1978 to 1984, there are two versions of this wheel. The first being the 1979 to 1983 style, referred to as 83s, because of the year when style was discontinued. In 1984, the wheel was slightly modified. Its center hub was moved three quarter inch towards the outside of the wheel. The ring that the spokes go into is smaller, and the inner 20 spokes were sharp slightly different than the 83s. Those wheels are referred to as 80 foes, and were produced in 1984 only, before the 30 spoke wheel was discontinued right afterwards. The 83s and 80 foes were so popular, that even Cadillac decided to offer them as an option on their cars during the time period. I mean, Swangles can get so hot, you know what I'm saying, to ride. That's why they were so serious. It ain't like you can just go buy them out the stove. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what made them so unique and made everybody, you know, made it so special to be riding on because you couldn't just go buy them out of the stove. You had to, um, you know, either buy them on the streets or, you know, Mr. Davis. I got my set, my first set from Mr. Davis. Uh, he was he was rebuilding them, you know what I'm saying, and, and dipping them in chrome, so uh, they, they brand new. I made a comment on Twitter today about the Jordans. Like, when I was coming up, it was a certain status that you had to have in order to even rock these motherfuckers. You either got shot or you, I'm talking about it, like starter jackets and jays. Starter jackets and You had jays, to really be a, a G. They had to really just come out and everybody couldn't afford them. It's like foes and threes. G's rolled foes. It was a certain status. They was 10,000 a set in our hood. It was so crazy. People was dying over them. You know, it was just like something you couldn't go get. It was so exclusive. So that's the reason why it was so serious. Like people was robbing for them uh, and, and all that. There. And the price just went so high, man. It was crazy how much people was paying for them. It was 10,000 a set then. Everybody couldn't afford them. So you know the only way they could get them was to do what they had to do. Yeah, they were very hard to come by, man. Uh, we were getting killed over the rims. It used to be real bad, man. You had to be really packing to ride around the rims like that, man. It was original 84s that came off of Cadillac Barrist back in the days. And 83 Barrist uh, just was hard to find, and people was like, one them. Many of my friends, man, is, you know, peace be on them, is like, you know, they got stopped at the light, you know. You know, they just do these barricade, you know what I'm saying, and just get out of them, jack them, so you know what I'm saying, these rims are real popular. You know, that's disrespecting the game at the end of the day, by no means necessary, you know, both for women or children. And you know, for 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 the little baby girl that got shot behind the rims, you know, like, it really, on, on the cool, you know, I don't even want to put it just, 
to the rim just on the G code, like you just don't do this like that. You know what I'm saying? On the side of that, it's it's another style. If we can get out here and do their own thing, man. Like don't don't come like off up the game disrespecting the rules. You know what I'm saying? On the kind of thinking that's gangster, cool. The way that this happened, that wasn't gangster at all. You know what I'm saying? At all. Like, like looking on stand, looking at everything, running around talking about how oh, that went to live for doing it. Nah, that was this shit. Gangsta strut. The gangsta strut said it all. The gangsta strut, the gangsta strut said it all. The gangsta strut said it all. The gangsta strut, the gangsta strut said it all. Check it, I'm a bowl of fresh pipe, Jolly Rips is The demand for these wheels was finally met in 2006 when a company called Texan Wire Wheels hit the scene with their own unique trademark brand design of the 83s and 84s. The look remained similar, but the structure of the design was altogether different. What you know about that? These on a Cadillac, alligator in size, candy on a sled back. Yeah, we uh, South Park G's, man. We grew up, man. We old school cats, man. It's Jamaica. I'm Howard Lee. I'm out to dead end. Long drive, man, right here. You know, we've been doing this thing, man, since 84, man. Elbows and bows ain't nothing new. We've been doing this thing a long time, you know, and now. You know, hey, we just it's just a trend. It's just it's just an H Town thing. That's what we take the wild wheel, they make That was the smartest thing for them to do though, I ain't gonna lie. But Houston wild wheel. Houston and that brown guy, everybody wanted to ride swinging. And they make them reasonable prices, so everybody get to ride them. The killing rate that went down, people ain't just really killing for them no more. Like how they used to back then. People couldn't afford them, they was twelve, eight thousand. It's cool now. Yeah. Even got girls riding swing. It's that girl Quisha from that Southwest. I'm a female, I'm doing it big. I'm out here holding it down for us women. I, when I started, I started with some 15 originals. I upgraded on some 17 inch super pockets. Now I'm on some 20 inch gorillas. I'm doing my thing. Thus, Texan Wire Wheels wheels were much better because the flaw that caused them to be discontinued in the first place has been engineered out. Not only that, but Texan Wire Wheels decided to take the game a few steps further by offer them in sizes all the way up to 22 inches. And they even started producing Super Poke and Extreme Poke versions of the 83s and 84s while making the center hubs longer. Going down the wrong way, took a couple exos, sipping on some OJ, listening in the OJs, raising the tape deck, slow down and banking, got the magnum for the safe six. Man, I got the case strut, look the way my leg lean, wait on the It's the way that these wheels poke out and grab sunlight that makes them really something to see as they roll down the road. The bling they give off when they are rolling is almost hypnotic to watch. Man, this is, ain't nothing, it, it's like to me, this how I feel, you know what I mean? 20 inch swingers in a 17 inch gorilla pokes. You know, when I see them, yeah, I like the original. But you cannot top no bitch that 20 inch. You know what I mean? Swingers.